Hi, this is Chris with bestlightroomtraining.com with another quick tutorial for you using gradients, uh, filter presets, and version 3 of the workflow engine preset system from bestlightroomtraining.com. So here we have a senior portrait, um, railroad tracks, pretty standard type of shot, um, needs cropped a little bit, but here, this is straight out of camera on the left. And this is uh, after it's been sharpened and had the workflow base applied, um, which is um, kind of an all-in-one recipe to just sharpen little contrast, little saturation, little vibrance, a little bit of this. And now it has six, about six different ingredients. And uh, there are three different strength levels included with the workflow engine of that workflow base that you put on the first photo and then put control A, select everything, or command A, select everything, sync it, select the ingredients, hit sync, and bam, they're all done. And then you move on to the next step of the system, which is working on exposure, fill light, and highlight recovery all in one pass. Um, but here we've just done the workflow base. So let's take a look at working it on this sky. Um, now I have underexposed the ambient a little bit, popped my off-camera flash. Um, this was ISO 400 F8, 250th of a second. I use Pocket Wizard, so 250. 250th of a second maximum sync speed for Canon. So um, we're going to go up here in the develop module. We're going to hit the uh, gradient icon here, which is uh, like a little frame, um, two to three ratio frame with three little lines on it. That's the, the gradient uh, icon. And we're going to grab the workflow engine gradient blue sky medium. And we're just going to drag down. There we go. And there is our before and after. And it was just a one quick uh, pull down with that tool. Um, it already has a good shade of blue picked out for you. So there's no worrying about, hey, am I grabbing the right shade of blue? Is it going to be too dark? Um, it's just a real Real light change in exposure, a little bit of saturation, and a nice shade of blue for you. Very convenient, easy to grab, and uh, if you're worried about getting close to the person, if there's blue sky all around them, don't burn and leave a halo around the person. That's tacky. Um, beginners do that, don't and don't try to do it because it's too hard to make it look right. It's crazy. So you can uh, just drag in from the corners, drag in from the corners, and careful not to drag too far over the person, and you're fine. Uh, probably have a good example we could do of that real quick. Let me see. This isn't the best image, but um, here it is straight out of camera on the left. Here it is with a little bit of fill light and uh, workflow base applied. So let's just take this same gradient blue sky medium and I'll show you what I mean. Just pull it in from the side, but don't go all the way over the person. There we go. Hit enter. And then here from the other side and don't go all the way over the person. So there we go. We have a nice pretty blue sky, no halo around the person from obvious burning um, or dodging. So uh, again, it helps to have a decent exposure when you first start, and that is obviously the goal. Um, but there's no need to do the really tacky looking dodge and burn job in uh, Photoshop. You can just drag a nice basic blue gradient um, around the person on a diagonal. And which is nice because, you know, if you've ever shot film and you've used graduated filters um, that drop in in front of your lens, uh, the, the Koken drop-in system, and then there were more expensive systems as well. They're a little fancier, but um, you couldn't control, you know, you couldn't bring in a gradient on a diagonal with those really without, you know, focusing and then, you know, try to... Uh, move the the ring that held the little square drop-in filter and try to put it at an angle and then trying to place it uh, while you're actually shooting and make sure you know that it gets in there just right and not over top of the person that was really difficult with film and uh, nowadays we have this technology available to av available to us tongue tied tonight uh, which is really nice and so so simple to be able to do those things and enhance things quickly so again this is the um, the gradient blue sky medium uh, preset included in version 3 of the workflow engine preset system for Adobe Lightroom available from bestlightroomtraining.com this is Chris uh, ending your tutorial here hopefully you guys are, are liking seeing a preview 
of some of these new features in version 3 before we release here in just a couple of days. If you have any questions, hit us up on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash bestlightroomtraining, or you can stop by the store at bestlightroomtraining.com and uh, go to the contact us page. It has our phone numbers and email address. You can also submit a support ticket or question right there with the contact us form on the, the store. So thanks a lot for taking a look. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks. Bye.